New worries for those living in rent stabilized apartments in New York City. Rent is going up as some wonder how they are going to afford the added cost. Last night, the rent guidelines board passed an increase with outraged protesters in the crowd. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller live in Brooklyn Heights with a closer look at those numbers. No one's happy, Derek. Shirley, a lot of people upset about this and you know there's more than a million rent stabilized apartments in New York City. Two million people live in them and the rent is going up on those tenants this October. Take a look at your screen. The rent guidelines board voted five to four to raise rents on one year leases by 3% and then on two year leases they voted to raise rents by 2.75% for the first year and 3.2% on the second year. You hear those angry tenants trying to drown out the board as they voted last night at Hunter College. It's the second year in a row the board has voted to raise rents by more than 3% after Mayor Adams expressed sympathy for the landlords. Both sides say inflation has left them struggling. The life changes could actually mean displacement being evicted because we cannot afford the rent. What we've seen here with the most recent RGB decision is a continuation of a system that is broken and is a disservice to both owners and tenants. Well, Mayor Adams appears to be just about the only one happy with this decision, saying finding the right balance is never easy, but I believe the board has done so this year, he said, and uh, that's part of the statement that he put out last night. You know, landlords, they wanted an increase of more than 8% on one-year leases and 15% on two-year leases. Uh, that was unlikely, but uh, it shows you what they're talking about. They say their costs, uh, insurance costs, and other uh, repairs are skyrocketing as well.